everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Day to Two, and this is another episode of Day to Two Talks, where we share the experience of professionals who are currently living in Germany with the expectation that you'd learn one or two things from their life experiences. So today I have Ifi, um, who recently completed a Ausbildung in nursing, and she's going to be answering some questions about her experience during the Ausbildung, how she applied for the Ausbildung, and every other every other thing in between, basically. Welcome to my channel, um, Ifi. Um, thank you for honoring our invitation. So can you briefly um, introduce yourself to the audience? Um, I'm Ife Nwaike from Nigeria, precise, and I'm Brassis, precisely. Um, so, but now I'm in Germany. Um, I just graduated from my nursing school and now I'm working in St. Bernard Hospital Company, 40 year where I live in Germany in the mm -hmm. anesthesia department. Yeah. So. Okay. Thank you for that very brief introduction. But we'll get into like the, your background and everything um, shortly. Could you please um, briefly explain to us how you applied for your house doing, how you decided you wanted to specialize in this particular nursing field that you've chosen, and also like the time frame for the application process from beginning to when you receive the offer? Okay, um, the whole process started um, in 2016. I first of all started with my language program. Mm -hmm. Um, because that is one of the requirements. You have to learn the language up to B2 level. Those days was up to B1. So um, I did my language program in Nigeria, in Imo State, somewhere in Imo State, and I later completed it in Oka, Pinnacle Center for German Studies. Now, I start with my A1, A2, B1. The program each course um, lasts for two months. Okay. Including the holiday, just let's say uh, between the time frame of six to seven months, you are done with your B1 level. So when I was done with my B1 level, that was in 2017, I went to travel to Gothe Institute in Victoria Island, Lagos, mm -hmm. to write my um, German um, German language exam. So when you um, so I wrote the German language exam after two weeks of the examination, I got my certificate. Okay. So with that certificate, um, I applied um, to schools in Germany. First of all, um, there was a time I tried. I came to Germany for a brief holiday, month one month holiday. So I searched the internet, got the name the the name of the whole people somewhere I would like to do the nursing program. Mm -hmm. So I applied to them within the space of one week, just five working days. They replied me and invited me over to um to come for an interview which mm -hmm. i went and it's just a normal interview that they will ask you to talk, um tell them about yourself they just want to know if you can speak the language mm -hmm. nobody is looking at the grammatical errors or something are you, going, are you able to introduce yourself so what i did and they asked me also asked me why do you want to study nursing in germany that was, i answered it so here and there, they told me that you know we are going to send you a contract um, to start the nursing. So, so this only person is also affiliated to a school. Okay, that means you go to school and then doing the clinical part to work in other people's home. Okay, so those days by, I applied by for school, you, you mean like a teaching hospital or what kind of school? Is that? Um, no, those days I said uh, my journey. I first of all started that um, I applied for nursing assistants for okay. old people. Mm -hmm. That was in two um, seventeen because those days um, nursing in Germany was like was um, was divided. They have old people's nursing, general nursing, children's nursing, mm -hmm. and all the and others. But now, since 220, yeah, since 220, they united all the nurses, uh, all the nursing programs. So it's now in general nursing, no, in which you have to also go for practical in different areas before you graduate. That means at the end of the nursing program, you have a, certi a general certificate in, um, of nursing. Mm -hmm. So that was exactly what happened. That was I came, I came through Germany with that um, old people's nursing mm -hmm. but as an assistant this last it was a one-year program so that was it 
So after the whole interview, I got my contract. Um, the letter sent me my contract, and I applied for. I travel. I went back to. I try. I tried to apply for v, um, to change my status from visiting visa to permanent stay here to other. But the um, the uh. <laughs> normal immigration office said no. I have to go back to Nigeria, which I did. Mm -hmm. So, but going back to Nigeria, it was difficult to get an appointment. Definitely. And the school was, I went back to Nigeria, was in August. The school was to start in September, 1st of September, there was no appointment. To the extent I even had to plead with the old people soon, they sent an email to the embassy. Still, the embassy said I should go through the normal process in Nigeria. <laughs> so I did it. Um, I applied and in October, that was October 30th, I got um, my appointment, I received my appointment, went for That's interview. Fast. But within those period, I was also, I was also learning my B two German. Okay, I was also trying because I stopped at B one, so I learned my B two German. But when I was going for the um, interview in Gote, I also went from with a certificate from my German school in Oka, showing that already I have learned the B two certificate um, B two German. So they are doing the interview, just they just want to know also tell you to introduce yourself in German just to be sure that you can speak a little. Mm -hmm. So that was it. The whole visa process just after the space of two weeks, I was called to submit my passport. passport and after everything, I got my visa. And in December 2018, I came officially, I was officially in Germany for the nursing program. So that was it. Quick so I finished my, I don't know why I should continue. Yeah, continue. I'm listening. <laughs> I'm <laughs> so very long much process. So, in this timeline. So, so when I finished the um, so when I came to when I when I in the process of doing that old people's nursing, um I made inquiries because I, I wanted to switch to um to hospital um to nursing in the hospital then mm -hmm. because those days it was divided. So one of the requirements was that I have to get my B2 certificate. Of which I just ordered already. I have the background from Nigeria. I just ordered the stuff from Amazon, read it on my own, and went for the Gote is uh, went for the examination of the Gote Institute here. Got the certificates. I applied through email. Now applying through email, you just have to just normal application. Then the just like I did before in uh, when I was in Nigeria, you just attach your CV, your work. Mm -hmm. um, certificate and your language certificate. So the requirement to study nursing in, ja in Germany is all about application letter, your CV, your work certificate, and your language certificate. Were so these that documents was the all in German? Did you have to translate your work results to German? No, 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 no. Once the result is in English, you don't need to translate it to German. I came, I just attached it then like that. So when I came here in Germany, um, I went to um, the uh, what they call rap house here, yeah? mm -hmm. the local government office, and then did my uh, they what they call the glory begun <laughs> satisfy the satisfy the work results showing that it's the original copy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then we then send it to another their recognition what the recognition center mm -hmm. where they recognize it, and then and it matches what they call here yeah, the Mitre Schulabschluss here in Germany. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that so that was it. Um, um, the old bosom or the hospital they knows about this. They, they knows about that, so they will even help you. So even about even among the requirements to be stated there, that you should also um, bring your um, police report or doctor's report. All those things you don't need to start doing it in Nigeria. You just have to come here, go to your local government. You then you go to your um, to your house doctor and just get those documents. So the only thing you need from Nigeria is your long your language certificates up to B2 level. Now since 220, so it's up to be up to B2 level. Mm -hmm. Then your CV and your YX certificate. That's the only thing you require. But your CV so is in was, German. Yeah, my CV was in German. It's just normal CV, yeah. It was in German. So that was it. So that was how I so when I finished the one-year nursing, I also applied for the General nursing that was um in two in two twenty yeah in two twenty mm -hmm. then but I was um I had that started the nursing in two twenty one because I have to just do a little practical to wait for the next batch so started the nursing then nursing in Germany was then generalized there was no longer you have to do open post nursing social nursing 
So the three years program for two, from 221 April to this year, 224 March. So during those, so during this program, you have three months compulsory um, clinical in all people's home, mm -hmm. three months compulsory clinical in hospital, three, um few weeks, um, a month or what compulsory in psychiatry mm -hmm. area. Then you have there is one they call ambulante nursing here yeah, where where you have to go home to home to take care of the people. It's also compulsory three months. Mm -hmm. And you have to complete 120 hours up two weeks or three weeks in the um, children clinics, the pediatric. Mm -hmm. Of which after the three years program, if your employer is, is in the um, hospital side, that means that you're going to take your practical exam. At the end of it, you take your practical exam in the hospital. But if your employer is from old people's zone, that means you're going to take your practical exam in old people's zone. If it's this psychiatry area, or, but at the end of it, you will get a general certificate that will enable you to work. It's recognized all over Europe mm -hmm. as a nurse, mm -hmm. Switzerland, Austria, all over Europe. So that was it. so that was the change that came into that was introduced in Germany since two twenty the general nursing. And during those program, you receive a pocket money. I won't call it salary from the <laughs> government. And for your first year, is 1,000 something, 1,100 or something like that. But after that, you don't know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 1,000 something, second year, 1,000 something. Is, sorry to cut you short, but is the 1,100, is it net or is it gross? Is it the, is it after that? Um, it's, that? No, it's brutal. Okay. Um, but um, but after that, is a deduction. Just say about 900 and something. Okay. But you know that... As a student nurse, even as a as an as a nurse here in Germany, you are required to also do your weekend, um, Saturday Sunday work, mm -hmm, okay. or during the holidays, you are also required to work. So if you are if you work during those days, there is, there is also a tax free payment that they will make to you. So at the end of you just said that roughly one thousand euro will be in your account. Mm -hmm. Then, um, as you as you advance the first year, second year, third year. And my hospital also, we also have a, they also have some hospitals or maybe some hospitals and they also what they, what they call this holiday money. Okay. And the holiday money, you receive it at the end of November, it's 90% of your, of your pocket money as a student, salary as a student. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that means as if your pocket money is 1,000 euro, that means that your holiday money should be um, roughly 800 or something or 700 or something or 600 or something, but it's also tasks. They also remember a little bit tasks. Yeah. Maybe if you're in the days, more to up, you may be getting up to 1,700 or something at the end of the those steps. I think it's a, um, it's a whole lot of a it's, a... it's a very good experience for me mm -hmm. to do this nursing program in Germany. Yeah. So that was it. Okay, nice. Yeah. Can you briefly give us a background of your house bedroom, what exactly is it about and what does it entail? What would you do on a day to day? Um, um, first of all, my background of power, when I started, um, the first few months, first first month or second month, mm -hmm. you just have to go to school. They what they what they call here the block form, they have a block form in which maybe you go to school two months or six weeks, then you go to your respectively um, and, um, either hot bosom or hospital and work there for six weeks, two months, or three months, the compulsory, those things. Then you come back to school again. Then during those period when you are in school, you have been, each level, if you're in your first year, you have been taught, introduced into the nursing program. And when you are being sent to the practical aspect, the clinicals, you are also required to work according to what you have been taught in the school. Okay. According to your level, mm -hmm. and they will also teach you that you have the right to say no, in case if a nurse um tells you to do something that is above your level, you also have this. Germany has this that you have the right to say no or to reject a task given to you. Okay. To add to it, you don't you don't even need to be so perfect in the language. I wasn't perfect in the language when I came here, but as time goes on, you will or be also incorporated in the system. Mm -hmm. So that was it. Um, then at the end of the part, then at the end of every, my school, I'm talking from my school, at the end of every school block, 
two months or whenever you come to school, there is what they call the test, a test, mm -hmm. what they call class zero year. Mm -hmm. uh, my school do it such a way that everything will learn during that period. You even you write a test on it. Okay. And I also I like it because don't you don't need to read so much. So you are done with that, then you move out to practical. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the practical, the nurse in the nurses that is in charge of you also writes a report for you about you okay. and also give you a mark. At the end of the three years nursing, then those mark also make up to your final. Um, final mark for the um, results. So at the end of the three years nursing, you also have um, at the end of the second year nursing, they what they call your tuition exam. Mm -hmm. In between exam that they will give you a written exam, oral exam, or practical exam, depending on the hospital. My own hospital, they just gave us an oral exam mm -hmm. during that period. Then, but at the end of your three years nursing, when you are preparing for your final exam, you have to right you have a written exam practical exam and oral exam okay so um if you're not good in the language from your um before you started the language at the end of that is that third year you should know that at least that you'll be you will be a little bit fluent in the language and also understand that this is not your language mm -hmm. they'll just want to see your ability to speak and the, the, this nursing is, is not just all about anatomy, physiology, it's all about it, but I think it's all about how you deal with patients, how you communicate, your social interactions, they deal mm -hmm. out the social aspects, the emotional aspect, the psychological aspect of a patient. Mm -hmm. um, so that is it. And during this course of um, nursing, you also introduce, there will be a period of power presentation, group work, assignments, online classes, and they just want to strengthen that um, team teamwork. Mm -hmm. And yeah, unlike in Nigeria, nobody is striving for to get the best grade. They look out for your competence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they look out for your competence. And being the only black girl in my class, so the teachers know that whenever they are done with us with, with any subject, I'm even ready to ask a question. And the thing is that the Germans they will take time off. Even they are not rushing. They are not rushing. They are not rushing any, any, any lectures. They will take time and explain those things briefly for you. Mm -hmm. so, Asking questions is very important, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is it. And you also have the privilege. I didn't mention. I also have the privilege. Some hospitals or some hospitals of paying for your giving you your ticket fee or mm -hmm. bus fee every month. So that is it. So it's basically you are learning for free, almost like. That is it. I think that that I think um I think Germany should be the only country, if I'm not exaggerating, in the yeah. world mm -hmm. that so whereby that when you are yeah, for them nothing is a vocational training. Yeah. Whereby that when you are them doing the um the stuff, the the nursing program, they also pay you because you are a student. I see that that's the way I interpret it. <laughs> paying yes. you. So your own duty now is to reach mm -hmm. and Pass the exam. Is there any any like semester payment or block payments or anything no, like no, that? No, no. You don't pay. When I was coming, you, you don't pay for anything. The only thing is that when you are coming to Germany, mm -hmm. you just, I think you can just have something like five hundred. Even having five hundred euro at hand is even enough because you know that at the end of each month, if you started if you started the nursing program on the first of September. Just know that on the third get or 28th of the end of the month, you will receive you immediately start receiving money um, into your account. Yeah. So and with that money, depending on the on depending on the location where you are doing the nursing, mm -hmm. depending on the city, um, you can you can also pay for your um for your personal um stuff yeah. mm -hmm. and also um Job, when you're also doing the nursing, there's what they call a bench job here. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The, um, the housing that build on immigration, they might write it that you are required to work additional 10 hours. You respect, um, um, it mustn't be the nursing program. Additional 10 hours or 20 hours, depending on the on the area um, on, on where you are living. Mm -hmm. That you are uh, you also that you're also allowed to work to do this job if you want, if you have time. But if mm -hmm. you have time, you can do the additional job okay. and then yeah add to it 
That's nice. That's nice. Mm. So how would you describe your Albedong experience overall? Is it, is, like from everything you've explained, it seems like you genuinely you enjoyed it so much. But just explain it, like the good, the bad. I think um, looking back to how I am, um, when, when I look back to how it all began and where I am today, I would say it was fun. I enjoyed every aspect, every step of the journey. I enjoyed it because um, my school... In our first year, we went to, we traveled, we, as well, we traveled together as a, as a class. Okay. My second year, the same thing, we traveled, we stayed for two, three days. Then in my third year, we traveled to Rome, we stayed almost for four or five days. So many, the first, second you, year... Mm -hmm. how, how many were you in your class? Um, we, we, uh, we started 28. So I think when we were graduating, we reduced to 20 something. I don't know again. Okay. So, but you know, the nursing program, they used to have small, small, as a small, small, um, a little, a small group of students yes. per, per, per class. Yeah. So, so that was it. So the first and second year, um, um, call it excursion, it was sponsored by the hospital or the old people somewhere you are working. But the final year on, once you enter your final year, when you, everything is, Free the youth is not compulsory if you want, okay. But mostly, um, you know, now that team spirit because Germany, the Germans, they have this team spirit, they do things together. Mm -hmm. So, so that was it. So, I can also say that I can say that the whole experience was fun and I learned a lot getting in contact or coming in contact with the people from um, different, um, different cultural background. Mm -hmm. I'm the only black, like I said before, I'm the only black in my class, but I, I didn't even feel it because they were also, they, they will always look out for you. And it's all about, nobody's traveling, it's traveling for, for, for Mark or for, mm -hmm. or for positions. Yeah, it's all about that team spirit. Yeah. At the end of the day, German says, so, so. <laughs> at the end of the day, let's just pass. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah. Okay, so, I have one additional question. What was the ratio of men to women in your in your class? Because it, it, there's this idea that nursing is more like a feminine profession, and you see more women going into nursing as a profession. For your class, what was the ratio? Oh, for my for, for my class at the end of the when when we graduated, the ratio was three. Only we have only three, three to twenty, so um, three to twenty ladies. Oh wow! Yeah, three guys, only three guys. Three guys, yeah. Just <laughs> 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 the end of the yeah. we started, we up to five guys or so. so okay, yeah. okay. So, um, generally, what would you say are the advantages of doing an Ausbildung in Germany? What would, what would be the, from your perspective, what would you say as someone who has completed an house be doing, who has successfully completed an house be doing, what is the advantage? If you had to talk to somebody who wants to, about, who wants to start an house be doing now, what would you say, do this? This is the best advice I would give to you. I think um, number one, um, number one, one aspect of it is um, Germany, we allow, allows you to grow and develop your skills. I had a, I have a very personal personal experience in class that when a person is being thrown, if you answer and if you give an answer, even if you are wrong, the teacher will never tell you that you are wrong. They will look for a way and then modify that answer you gave and try to direct you into the right um and then the correct um cor cor correct answer. So this enlightenment and the knowledge mm -hmm. um you get to know about the human anatomy, the human function, you get to know the self awareness about health, mm -hmm. um, this passion, at the end of it, you have this passion, you will see nothing, not just as taking care of the, of the sick people, no. It's more about the emotional and the psychology. The um, Germans, they will say that is a, is a, um, ganz, um, um, in a holistic care. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, then um, there is also this job opportunity. Yeah, I could remember in my final year, Six months before I graduated, you, you I was called upon and, and I was also told um, you have the chance of staying back in the hospital when you graduate. That means it meant I didn't even write any application letter. Mm -hmm. So it's a very big advantage. Even doing your um, different um, experiences, your first year, second year, is when you are doing these compulsory clinicals at the whole people's home, psychiatric, you will also see them telling you when you graduate, you can come and work with us. 
So you are sure that when you graduate, you that you have this job opportunity. And I can tell you, I graduated in March and I started working in April. And you also have the choice of choosing any area where you will work. It's, it's, not, it's not about bedside nurse. Um, like now I'm not in bed. It's, it wasn't working bedside nurse. And so I want to go to the um, ICU. I want mm -hmm. to go to the smoke <clears throat> unit. I want to go to the anesthesia area. I want to go to this. Now I'm in anesthesia, ICU, and stroke unit. Um, then there are another advantage, which we all know, <laughs> we need money. So that pocket money <laughs> and that job ticket, it's a lot because you don't um, you don't need to come and start thinking about how will I take care of myself at the end of the month because you know for sure at the end of that month, money will enter your account. Mm -hmm. So and those, another little two um, benefits that also comes with it, so that is it. I see there are so many advantages to study here in Germany and it's also European recognized. Yeah. The nursing, the nursing so story, yeah. It's like it's helpful in the sense that most of these countries you also mentioned that accept Ausbildung as a qualification, also speak German as their native language or as yeah. one of their native languages, if we mm -hmm. take Switzerland as an example. So if you complete your husband in Germany and you see oh um I don't feel okay working in Germany or you find an, an, an opportunity in Switzerland for example or, or or in Austria you can easily just say okay um I'm moving to this place you have all the skills you need you have the experience you have the language yeah so that's something as well to consider for people who are looking to complete an Ausbildung in Germany it's also quite interesting to see that the whole application started from Nigeria and it was quite easy. It was quite straightforward. It's not like completing a bachelor's degree where there are so many documentations that you need to submit for an application before you get an appointment. Finally, you had to wait for about a month or so, but people are waiting six months these days for, um, for, for, an, invite, for an invitation for a <laughs> student visa. So yeah, thank you so much, Ifi, for um, coming to, our, to my channel to talk about your experience on completing your Ausbildung in Germany. Do you have any last words for anyone who wants to, you know, who's looking at Germany as a choice location for completing an Ausbildung? I think um, the advice I have for anyone that has interest to study in Germany is that um, um, study jam, study nursing in Germany is also is has so many um, positive impacts, mm -hmm. and you can do that. Um, when when someone hear the about year year that you speak German, you must speak German in Germany, and they will be like, hey, I don't want to do I don't want to do this language. You, but I tell you that, um, during my own time, I I took this German not as a, I, I took it as a course, as if I was studying a course in the university that I must pass. Mm -hmm. I wasn't seeing it as a language. And I was, that, was, that was what helped me. And another another thing is that you don't have to be so fluent in the language. That is because in the even, yeah. even up till now, I tell you, I'm still learning German. Yeah, it's, not my, it's not my mother tongue. <laughs> <laughs> so, because even, even, even the native speakers, they know that it's not your language. Yeah. So you just have to try your best after when you are um, also um, going directly to um, also talking to those that are also about to write their work exam. Mm -hmm. When you are done with your work, you can just use that period you, um, for waiting, um, to wait, um, during that period that you have to be waiting for well, really admission okay. mm -hmm. to go into those, learn the German, go to Lagos, write your exam and apply for it. Just remember that one day you will look back, you look at yourself and be amazed on how far you have come. Yeah. So that is it. And just know that to not be easy, to never be easy. Yeah. But this is an application you can also, you don't need an agent for it. Exactly. You don't need you can do agent. everything on your own. Yes. Germany, they are very transparent. You just have to Google it. House building in Germany. Once you Google it, you go directly to the hospital, upload, write, take their email address, Write a right email to them, upload your CV, your work results, mm -hmm. and also your language certificate. They will contact you within the space of one week or even two days or even the next day. 
The only thing is that they will know that you are still in Nigeria. And they also know that it takes time yeah. to process this. They will, during my own period, the contract they gave me that the school was going to begin in September, I, I couldn't get the appointment and I informed them. I kept I, I kept updating them. And when, when I finally got the appointment in October, I also told them, so the only thing they did was to change the dates date on your contract of the of, of the stuff. Although school has already begun, but they just changed the dates and sent it to you, sent it to me through email. Everything was done through email. And I printed it out and went to the embassy for it. Okay. So that it just have to be transparent. Also, as they're also transparent, you also have to be transparent with them. Mm. So that is just it. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so, so much. You've given me all the information that I need if I want to do an I'll be doing in nursing. Thank you so much for your time. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, people who are watching, I also have a video on I was doing in Germany. I'm also going. I'm going to link that in the description box below, so you can also you can check that out. Thank you so much for um, watching this video. Thank you, Ify, for sharing your experience for, as <laughs> as someone who completed the I was doing in Germany. We really appreciate you. We wish you all the best for the future. Mm -hmm. uh, Before I had this interview with you, I've already, I, I went to your channel, and I can say. There's a channel that um, any anyone should also go to, like, subscribe. It's something I can say. Um, I'll, she's she's doing well. She's doing well in this thank area. You. It's not easy. I can't I can't even do it. <laughs> so and I also want to thank you for this privilege. And it's also an, a great honor for me to talk about this because when people hear that you're a nurse, they'll be like, "How did you do it?" It's simple. It's simple. I think. Mm -hmm. Coming to study nursing in Germany is the easiest way to migrate to Germany. Even, even the poorest person in Nigeria doesn't have money. Once you get your German language certificate, yeah. you can come here and become that nurse you have always wished to be. So yeah. I also want to thank you so much. Please don't forget to um don't forget to subscribe, like, um, or don't forget, or please do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come on, like. <laughs> <laughs> all right then thank you so much everyone um i'll see you in my next video take care of yourselves bye all right. Peace. bye